Today, the FBI took an important step in countering what is seen as the top domestic terrorism threat facing our nation today, racially motivated violent extremism. FBI Joint Terrorism Task Forces throughout the country are engaged in ongoing law enforcement operations at this time to disrupt the illegal activity of the individuals charged today and to collect evidence regarding this plot. The subject arrested here this morning and the other subjects arrested around the country posed a legitimate and escalating threat to anyone who dared counter or try to expose their activities. These subjects first came to our attention in 2018. They utilized the internet and social media to spread their message and make their plans. As the group expanded, they participated in military-style training and hate camps. Investigating them wasn't easy. The subjects took steps to conceal their identities and their activities, both online and in real life. But in coordination with FBI field offices around the country and our state and local partners, we were able to determine the group had gone from rhetoric to the commission of illegal acts. The FBI recognizes all citizens' First Amendment protected rights. However, the subjects arrested today cross the line from protected ideas and speech to illegal acts of intimidation and coercion against the individuals that they perceived as a threat to their ideology of hate. If the objective of these subjects was to send a message intimidating the recipients into silence, to them I say the FBI has our own message for you. We will not stand by idly while you attempt to undermine the freedoms for which our nation stands. This case, should this case should serve as an example of the FBI's dedication to working domestic terrorism and combating violent extremism. As I mentioned above, the success of today's enforcement action involved a lot of moving parts from all over the country. In particular, I'd like to acknowledge the Houston, Phoenix, and Tampa FBI field offices, as well as our local partners from throughout the Puget Sound region. In particular, I'd like to acknowledge these agencies on stage here today, the Seattle Police Department, the, the uh, uh, U.S. Postal Inspect Inspection Service, who played a major role in this investigation through their participation in the Seattle Joint Terrorism Task Force. Thank you.